Hello you guys, this is O Sheets. Welcome to my channel. Make sure to like and subscribe. Today, we are discussing five of my favorite kitchen utensils, appliances, kind of just my top five favorite things in the kitchen. I spend a ton of time in the kitchen. Probably not as much as in my bed because I love sleep, but second close. Um, and so I just wanna share with you guys some of my favorite utensils and stuff and we're getting very specific here too like specifics are what we need here so um, I think a lot of these tools a lot of you guys can incorporate whether you're pro chefs or starting out in the kitchen um, they're just great appliances overall and utensils whatever you'll get the gist but let's just dive right in okay and if you guys have any questions let me know and if you guys have any utensils you're using that I need to be let me know because I'm always in the market to buy a new you know gadget for my kitchen so let's just dive right in I gotta clear my throat real fast though <coughs> okay we're ready okay so the very first one is you know a long time favorite I've been using this one for a long time and that is my pampered chef garlic press okay very specific so pampered chef is kind of a mm, pure scheme situation but like it's this is legit um, I actually believe you can buy these on the Pamper Shop website or on Amazon. I will leave a link in um, the description of all the products, so um, we'll get you we'll get you set up. But the reason why this garlic press is truly best, and you guys, I'm sorry, there's like probably garlic in here actually, disgusting, and it's a little beat up because I use it a ton. But it is just made of a premium like I don't know what it's made out of, but it's it's just got the perfect amount of pressure when you press so what you do how you use this if you guys are like what is a garlic press you put your garlic cloves in this little basket here with the little holes in it and then you push down and out comes perfectly minced garlic so you don't have to chop it up you know all that this is so fabulous i love using fresh garlic and this is a staple in all my recipes um and yeah i just really love like the pressure and the weight that this applies i've used a few others I know like Target and Walmart sells them obviously, but they're just made of like plastic and they're not good. This one is the best. My mom has it, I got one. This is truly the only garlic press. Like if you don't have this garlic press, I don't wanna talk to you, okay? It's just how it is. Um, it is probably a little sacrilegious that I even use a garlic press. I mean, I'm not Italian, so I guess I can, but you know, real chefs probably don't use a garlic press. They like chop it up, but this is just like, Sometimes you gotta have a shortcut and this is the best one. So garlic press from Pampered Chef, check it out. Okay, so the next one, <laughs> these are my favorite pans. And I'm sorry because these are pricey, but we've gotta be honest, we've gotta say what the best is and sometimes the best costs money. And that is all clad stainless steel pans. That's probably backwards for you guys, can you guys see that? This is also the small one. You're probably like, what do you cook in that? This is the butter warmer, which um, sounds ridiculous, but I actually love this size one, but I just wanted to show you guys this one. I have this all clad pan in literally every single um, size. I have the like skillets, I have bigger pots, all the sizes. They're my favorite. Growing up, my we never had stainless steel. We always had non-stick. And so I was kind of like scared of stainless steel initially, but and they are, I mean, they do take a little more cleanup than a traditional like non-stick pan, but I do not think they're annoying at all. Like I think they clean up just fine and they don't have all those nasty chemicals that the non-stick pans have. So you don't want none of that. Get stainless steel, you can put them in your dishwasher, they're good to go. I mean, I use this a lot and like it, it looks very clean and there's also a you can get barkeepers cleaner if you want to clean these really shiny and make it all look good but I don't know I love them I mean this is what the chefs use they use um stainless steel and most of the time it's all clad because I, I sneak a peek at this little and I see I see all clad you know what I mean so get yourself these um again like I said they are pricey but maybe if you're getting married you can put some on your registry or you can collect a few at a time so whatever works for you but these are truly my favorite I will say they also make um non-stick versions and we did get one for my mom for mother's day and she loves it she thinks it's a great so i do think their non-stick versions are amazing as well but i don't like non-stick i actually don't have a single non-stick in my house so whoops okay on to the next one wow sorry i'm like really close up here the next one good knives <laughs> oh 
Okay, so right here I have the Wusaf uh, Classic Icon. Does this say that? Yes, Classic Icon. Um, I have the entire block and you guys, again, growing up, it's amazing that I'm like as good of a cook and baker as I am because growing up, we did not have good knives. We literally, I don't know if we ever got a new knife. Um, you know, we just had like a bunch in a little basket in a drawer and I was like, oh, perfect, these are good. So if you guys are like me and you think those are fine, no, you have to get a good knife and your world will change. Um, I mean, to, I'm gonna set that down because I'm just like crazy with it. Good knives make all the difference. It truly makes it easier to cut your fruits and vegetables and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, they're just, uh, they're just, good. you have to get a good knife. I don't know how to describe like why you need it, but you do, so good knives. And also make sure your knives stay sharpened because I think when they're dull, that's kind of when more accidents can happen, but um, get a good knife. That's, I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I think everyone knows that, but like, there you go. Okay, so the next one is kind of another kitchen classic, kind of a basic one. You probably saw this one coming when you saw the title, but it is in my background there, right there, and it is my KitchenAid mixer, okay? It's so funny, I'm actually in a group of like, it's a, like a Facebook group of like people that like to cook and bake and there'll always be people on there saying like, do I need a KitchenAid, blah, 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 all this stuff like asking. And it's a question where it's like, you don't, you have to one, ask, or two, you don't have one. Like, I I don't know a life without one. <laughs> like, we've always had one. And like, I actually feel bad, I mean, I know they are pricey. I think they're starting at like $250, $300. So they are pricey, but I mean, I couldn't imagine my household growing up without one, so I don't know what you guys did if you don't have one, but you definitely need to get one. I know everyone saves them for their wedding registry. Like, literally, I was even like to my sisters, I was like, you guys need to get a KitchenAid. You know, you're gonna have a house soon. And they're like, no, I'll put that on my registry. I'm like, uh, what? No, I couldn't wait. I literally asked for this thing when I was like a freshman in college for Christmas. Why? Because I, need, I just needed one. I needed my own. Um, but it is my favorite. Now, I do wanna point out one thing. I just have, I keep pointing in the wrong direction. I just have that like standard size and that is the size I prefer. My mom has the one with the lifted bowl. Um, if you know, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but like it's the one where it lifts the bowl up. Don't get that one, okay? I hate it, like my mom hates it, I hate it. Get the classic, it's cheaper, better to go. I just have it in like a silver color because I felt like that was pretty neutral, but they truly make them in all sorts of colors. So you need to get one. Even if you're not a baker, there's so much you can do in it. I know people put like their chicken in it and like shred it up. I mean, you can make dips in it, whips in it, all sorts of stuff, I don't know. I love it and it, it, it to me it truly is like a piece of art on your countertop. I don't like too much stuff on my countertops, but I will always have my KitchenAid on my countertop. Unless I get one of those cool like lift up things, you know, we'll see <laughs> in the future. Okay. One last thing for you guys, and that is another item I'm not gonna pull out, I have it away, but that is my Vitamix blender. Um, I make smoothies every day for lunch, so for me, a blender is a no-brainer, and to get a nice one is also a no-brainer, but I have had my Vitamix now for, mm, going on eight years, I'm gonna be honest, which makes me sound so old, oh my goodness, but I'm dead serious, I've had it for eight years, I had it through college, I have it now, it's worked great. I do really wanna get a new one because the one I have, which I'll try to link it. Let me let me just show you. Pause one second. Back. <laughs> I don't know if I said that. This is mine, so it's pretty small and it has like a detachable base, which most of the ones you're familiar with are probably like more square. This was kind of a, it was advertised as a more like smaller size version. Um, like this can detach and go on like a blender cup kind of that was kind of marketed towards that. So it is a smaller one. So I'm in the market for a bigger one. Maybe I'll ask for that like next year for Christmas or something, but I mean, it, this is still working great. So like, I don't, I just wanna upgrade because I wanna upgrade, not because it's not working anymore. Um, I love it, I think it's a great blender. And again, it's just one of those like very well-trusted brands. So that's that's what I like and what I use. Um, so yeah, you can't go wrong with that. So um, all of the brands I mentioned are brands I really like too among kitchen appliances if there's other things in those areas that you need as well. but. Those are my top five. Um, I'll probably do this again in the future because I have a lot of other appliances that I love and maybe I'll even do one of like appliances I bought and hated. Ooh, tea. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I put out new videos every Wednesday. Like and subscribe and I will see you later.